You and I live in a largely engineered world, not only in the form of grand buildings, bridges and technologies, but very much in everyday ways. The engineering spirit, older than history itself, is deep within each of us and is essentially what makes us human. In the fascinating 13-part series, The Elegant Solution, we meet the world's engineers and see how they and we are engineering our planet at all levels. Safety engineer in the auto industry is someone who designs the vehicle system performance to ensure that the community gets maximum protection. In certain areas, engineers know more than the general community and with that uh, opportunity comes also a responsibility. So we have as a group a responsibility to, to uh, inform the community of the downside. Even on our days off. We, we juggle the reliability issues with the operational issues and we have to maintain you know, certain capacities at the same time. Everybody wants thrills, they want to do something that you can't, you can't take your car out and run it you know, 90 miles an hour and, and chase around curves and slide out. But you can go on a roller coaster and go 60, 70, not even go on 100 miles an hour. So we, we offer the experiences that you cannot get in everyday life and we do it in a safe way. In theaters of war. Good evening, my name is Sergeant Decker. I'm currently equipped with the technology that represents the requirements for the land warrior system. The thermal weapon sight will allow the soldier to engage targets day or night and in any weather condition. It will also allow the soldier to indirectly engage targets without having to use the standard cheek to stock method. In reinstating essential services. Radar engineers provide technical response to human conditions. So whilst it's an engineering response, the reason you're there is, is to respond to the human condition and the result is, is saving lives. In designing replacement body parts. The stem goes into uh, the bone, is locked in <laughs> firmly, the cup goes into the pelvis and then the ball and the socket are mated and then you have a hip joint. There is a sort of anthropomorphism associated with the robot. That, uh, the, the, the Hollywood myth of a robot is something that is vaguely humanoid. Um, and of course, um, the debate is not about what it is capable of in a mechanical sense. It is, can it start thinking for itself? And by implication, can it start procreating? Engineers who are modern dreamers and adventurers. So it gives you an idea of the powerful uh, nature of this fuel. 25 tons a year, and we said there was a million metric tons on, on the surface of the moon. We're talking about an energy source that would last the Earth about a thousand years. There are no limits to what engineers take on. Uh, it is very hard to land on the surface of a comet just because you don't know what it is. It could be anything from a, from a really fuzzy snowball, uh, fluffy thing to hard as rock. So what we've done is we've proposed a number of solutions. One of them, for instance, uh, sort of like was throwing your cat at a wall. You take the cat, you throw it at the wall, and all the claws are out, and it, and it sticks to the wall. The Elegant Solution is an amazing journey, exploring the world and work of engineers, past, present and future. Engineers and engineering principles have a profound effect on the world we share. They'll affect future societies and human values. It's true to say that without engineering, even the very survival of our species is threatened.